Ladies and gentlemen, easy aces. Mr. and Mrs. Ace are preparing to go to court to defend themselves in a $10,000 lawsuit brought against them by Mr. Ness. To Jane, it means buying suitable clothes to make her look like she can afford to be sued for $10,000. To Mr. Ness, young lawyer, it means everything, because it's his first case. Our scene now is in the Ace's bungalow a few evenings later, and we find Jane displaying some of the things she bought with Marge, an interested spectator. Listen. Now, uh, for the tenth day, I thought this off-the-face hat would make a nice contrast to these two turbans. It's very plain, but I think it's... Oh, it'll be... that's a honey day. It's something like my first day hat, but I think they'll forget what I wear the first day when the tenth day comes around, don't you? <laughs> Try it on. Oh, my hair is a sight. Just to get an idea. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. But you see, this hat goes with my tailored suit. This dress isn't the thing to wear with that. I understand. I just want to see how... Oh, that is lovely. I like that one the best. You do? Better than my first day hat? Yes, I think I... Well, which is your first day hat? I'm a little bewildered by all that. Well, it's this one. Oh, where is it? The black and white one? Yes, oh, here it is, this one. I thought this was the prettiest. That's why I decided to wear it first, so they can get the best impression. You know how they say, (laughs) first impression's all the best. You like that one best? I think so. Now, wait, I'll take this one off and try this one on again. They're all nice, I think. I'm excited about this trial, and wait till you see the suit I'm having made. I went there today to try it on. So soon? That's just what he said. He said so soon. He said he couldn't possibly have the first try on until next Monday. So I just looked at the material again and kind of draped it over my shoulder like the coat's going to be. Now, there. Now, don't you think this hat's the prettiest? Mm, well, I can't say that I do. Oh, I do. Wait till I pose in it for you. Pose? <laughs> yes, yeah, like I look in it at the trial. Now, wait now. I'll stand right here in front of this chair. Like this. Now. <laughs> What's your hand stuck up in the air for? You know, I swear to tell the truth, all the truth, eccentric, eccentric. You know how they make you raise your hand? <laughs> oh, I see. And that's your old hat. Yes, this is the... What? <laughs> that's the hat you're going to wear the first day when they swear you in. Is that it? Yes, this is a hat with a suit. Can you picture it? Yes, I think I can. Well, don't you think it's nicer than the 10th day hat? Oh, don't you think you're dragging this trial out a little? Beg pardon? I say, don't you think you're taking for granted a little too much when you expect the trial to run as long as all that? The wheels of justice grind slowly, I know, but to make this trial run ten days, they're going to have to take a lot of detours. What do you mean? What are you trying to say? I mean simply this. After all, this is a very simple case. It shouldn't take any judge as long as you think to come to some sort of decision. You're making a career out of it. Oh, it's not as easy as you think. You should have heard our lawyer, Mr. Kelly. What he oh, said... Oh, I know what he said, but he's just trying to make it look hard so that when you do win the case, it'll be a feather in his hat. Oh, I don't care what he looks like. <laughs> I'm the one that has to look like something. After all, they're suing me. And they... Oh, him. He always looks nice. A man is different. They can wear a... Oh, a nice tie and they look good. Oh, unless he wants to wear his tuxedo. (laughs) No, I wouldn't bring that up if I were you. Yes, I guess you're right. It's the hardest thing to get him to wear a tuxedo. And besides, I guess it would be better if he wore his gray suit. You'll make us look nice together with my dark suit. Yes, you'll make a darling couple. I think so. I guess we'll come down the aisle together and I'll have my hand through his arm. Oh, I wish we could have some kind of rehearsal. Do you think they'd let us? <laughs> well, what's the matter with that? How about weddings? <laughs> I don't know. How about weddings? Well, they have rehearsal at weddings and it doesn't make any difference there if you look like a $10,000 or not. You insist on looking like $10,000, do you? Well, sure. If you think I'm going to have them take my picture, and then the headline in the paper will say, she's being sued for $10,000. Like they mean, look who's being sued for $10,000. Oh, no, not me. I've got some pride. (laughs) Well, perhaps there's something in what you say. I don't know. But I still think that 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 tenth day hat is the best one of the lot. No, I don't. Now, look, Marge, now, just picture it. Now, here I come. And that's another thing. 
Do we walk right down the aisle up to the chair where I raise my hand or not? No, I think you... Well, I think you sit at your lawyer's table until they're ready for you. Oh, well, uh, for that, I ought to have something brighter, don't you think? I mean, just sitting there at a table, they won't be able to see just my blouse and my suit. Then when they call me to raise my hand, I can change into the suit. Oh, I hardly think they'll hold up proceedings for that, Jane. <laughs> but Mr. Kelly said I could wear whatever I like. He does anything to keep me happy. Yes, but Mr. Kelly can't ask the judge to stop everything while you change costumes. Oh, I think he could. You know how they object and everything. Yes, but you can't. Well, while he's objecting and everything, I can slip off and change to my suit. You think your suit's so vital? No, it's an Oxford gray coat with a striped skirt. <laughs> I know. But I mean, the trial doesn't depend on it, does it? It's my lawsuit suit. Your <laughs> lawsuit suit? Yes, now, <laughs> <I> stop <laughs> laughing. Do you realize that I'm being sued for $10,000? What's there to laugh about? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jane. There's really nothing to laugh about. It's quite serious being sued for all that money. <laughs> That's why I think you shouldn't be concentrating so much on clothes as you should on the case itself. But you have to look like you can afford to be sued for that much money, or what good is it? What good is what? What? <laughs> Let's drop it before it gets more complicated than it is. What do they say about all this? Oh, he has nothing to say. He was there when Mr. Kelly told me to get whatever I wanted, and Mr. Kelly said I could take my time because he was going to see Mr. Neff's lawyer and explain to him that we can't be sued next week. Why, do you know they want us to go to court next week? My, they're rushing things. Yes, and I saw what that Mr. Neff was trying to do, get me to come into court in my everyday clothes and then have people laughing at me. Oh, I don't think that Mr. Neff's interested in what you look like. Oh, you don't know him like I do. He's just mad that Mr. Everett bought our lot instead of his. No. Do you think he's mad about that? I sure he is. That's why he's so... Oh, sarcastic, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> There's Ace, I guess. Oh, just a minute, dear. Well, don't you think I'd better get all these hat boxes put away before he sees them and starts raising the roof? Oh, he knows about them. He heard Mr. Kelly say I should get them. Yes, I know, but just the same, something tells me. Oh, hello, dear. Hello. You're kind of late, aren't you? Dinner's been ready for hours. I had a long conference with this lame brain lawyer of ours. Hello. Hello, Marge. What's new? Oh, well, it's... Nothing very pleasant, I gather, from that face of yours. No, nothing very pleasant ever happens to me. Oh, I wouldn't say nothing. You put over one of the biggest real estate deals of your career, and then you yes, said it. Yes, what did it get me? A lawsuit. Yes, but it also got you a $3,000 commission and $10,000 you didn't expect to make on top of that. Yes, $10,000 I'll probably have to turn over to this Neff guy if I'm a judge of lawyers. Why, my regular lawyer had to be out of town at a town like this is more than well, I can... What's the Jane tells oh, me Oh, Jane that... tells you. What does she care about whether we win the case or not? All she's interested in is looking like... Uh, look, look, uh, what are all these boxes? Hats. Hats? Yes, now don't start that. You heard Mr. Kelly hats. say... Hats? All oh, these are hats? Are you... I, oh, you're trying one or two of them out and then sending the others back? No, the... they're all hats, and I'm going to wear all of them. You're going to wear all of them? Yes, I am. A different hat for a different day. A different hat for... What is she talking about? Well, I think she has them classified, like the one she has on is her first day hat. Now, this white turban is the second day. No, that's the third day, Marge. It's Louis. What's second. going on here? What are you doing? I'm getting ready for the trial. For the trial? I'm glad you used that word. Trial. Do you know what the word means? Trial, as in trial and tribulation. That's what it is. It's not a coming out party. A man wants to take $10,000 away from us, and you buy half. Now, dear, I don't want to have any trouble with you, but didn't you hear Mr. Kelly say I could wear what I wanted to? And I want to wear things that'll make people think I can afford to be sued for $10,000. Isn't that awful? And if you walk into court, there are all these hats on that they'll think you can afford. They to be... certainly will. Hats. Hats. Look at them. Now, take it easy, Ace. Well, after all, their hats you can always I wear. I don't care. Let her wear them. You wear them in court. Well, now, that's better. Wear them all at once, if you like. All at once? Yes. Come walking in with hats piled up on your head to the ceiling for all I care. Oh, imagine wearing all these hats yes, at once. Yes, imagine it. Imagine you being sued for $10,000 and all you worry about is the hat you're going to wear. Oh, that's not all I worry about. Well, thank heaven for that. I'm worried about the suit, too. Well, thank goodness you're showing a little sense. Oh, did you think I was only thinking about getting hats? I didn't know, Jane. <laughs> Isn't that just like a man? There are things besides hats here. Yes, I was hoping there would be. Well, now, that's the nicest thing you've said. Yeah, now, about this suit. Well, you're uh, just going to love it. 
Love it? Oh, yes. I'm crazy about it. Oh, but you don't even know anything about it. I don't. Uh, I know that the suit's being tried next week. That's right. How did you know? Because that's all I've been worried about. Oh, well, now, don't you worry about it, dear. You just leave that to me. Mm, if I left this suit to you, I'd be wearing stripes. Well, that wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad. I mean, for a contest, I mean. For a con- Will you stop that? Mark, can't you do anything? I'm afraid there seems to be a little uh, misunderstanding. There's no here. misunderstanding. The suit is being tried next Next week, and she says I'll be wearing stripes. I didn't say you'd be wearing stripes. I said it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be b- a fine time you picked out for jokes. If you think this is a joke, you're mistaken. You heard me say that this suit's going to be tried next week. I know, dear. Monday. It's Tuesday, and that's not the point. I was hoping that we could put it off for a couple of weeks. It's Monday, dear. Put, uh, uh, Monday. What? Monday's the day the suit has to be tried. I said it was Tuesday. I just came for my lawyer. He ought to know. Well, I hate to get sarcastic here, but I just came for my tailor. But Mr. Kelly told me, Mr. Uh, your tailor? <laughs> Will you stop that laughing? I can't help it. I tried to tell you it was a misunderstanding. She's talking about a suit she's having made for the trial. A suit she's having made for the trial? Yes. Now, what do you mean, Mr. Kelly told you Tuesday? You mean the trial starts Tuesday? That's what I mean, and you sit there talking clothes. Tuesday? But you heard Mr. Kelly say I could take my time and get all the clothes I want. He said he thought he could get the trial delayed a bit, but after talking it over with Neff's lawyer and Neff, he found he couldn't. He couldn't? Well, if Mr. Neff thinks I'm going into that court looking like I can't afford to be sued for $10,000... Oh, no. I'll tell him a thing. I'll go up there myself. You'll do nothing of the kind. Oh, yes, I will. I'm going to get all the clothes that go with these hats. It was on account of me that you made the extra ten thousand dollars. It's just like my money. Your money. So you're buying hats. Hats. I'll buy all the hats I want. You're to. letting your money go to your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jane got that conversation all balled up. We'll learn more about the complications that follow when next we meet the Easy Aces. 